This fancy house is named the Lindendale. And as you probably guessed, it's made from shipping containers. These homes are made by an Australian company, which works pretty fast. They finished building this house in just 10 weeks, and it took them only 5 hours to put the containers in place. One reason they're so quick is because they make the containers themselves. For the Lindendale, they use 6-meter containers. The house is even more interesting inside, though. The owner wanted a fancy kitchen with a cool sliding window and a custom library with special bookshelves. The prices for these houses are negotiated case by case. The down payment for a house up to 250 square meters is around $12,700. In New Zealand, there was a unique exhibition of Van Gogh's artwork. People got to enjoy the artist's creations under the starry night sky. To make this happen, the organizers set up a temporary gallery using 52 containers. They used 21 projectors to display Van Gogh's paintings on the walls. Inside, they had space for not only the famous works like Irises and the Starry Night, but also some of Van Gogh's early, less-known pieces. The organizers used Sensory 4 technology to fully immerse visitors in Van Gogh's world. This tech gives you a crystal-clear view and even adds animations to make the paintings come to life. Did you hear about the unique stadium built in Qatar for the 2022 FIFA World Cup using cargo containers? It's called 974, with a dual significance. Firstly, 974 is Qatar's international phone code. Secondly, it's the exact number of containers used to build this 40,000-seat stadium. These containers serve as both its walls and to house essential amenities like restrooms and stores. Many describe 974 as the world's first temporary World Cup stadium. Notably, renowned players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi and Kylian Mbappe played on its field. After the championship, they disassembled the 974 stadium, but there's good news. The Financial Times suggests that this unusual stadium might find a new home in Uruguay as part of the 2030 World Cup. Let's pause for a moment and check out this restaurant called Container 775. It was built in Brazil, and based on the reviews, it's not only eye-catching but also serves delicious dishes. It boasts a Google rating of 4.7 out of 5, and the prices are reasonable, allowing you to enjoy a meal for around $12. The menu offers a variety of international options like pizza, fries and burgers. Moreover, Container 775 has ample room for hosting parties. After lunch, we can hop on a flight from Brazil to South Africa, heading straight for Johannesburg, the country's biggest city. There, they turned one of its neighborhoods into a sort of hipster Valhalla, and they used a bunch of shipping containers in the process. A key part of this cool place is an apartment complex named Drivelines. It's built from 140 containers and offers 100 studios ranging from 40 to 60 square meters in size. If you're thinking about moving in, the monthly rent for an apartment in Drivelines runs around $250. What do you think? Would you consider renting an apartment here? The folks behind these floating islands call them a future-fit way of living, building and developing urban areas. 
Each island is basically a concrete platform with nine containers on top. This setup allows for apartments and even communal spots like barbecue areas. These islands get their power from solar panels, and the apartments come with water supply and heating. They've also got systems for treating wastewater. You can see this in action in places like Copenhagen, where they've recently built a little neighborhood of these islands right in the city's harbor, complete with 72 apartments. We're in South Korea, heading up a unique observation tower made from containers and is called Sky is the Limit. To catch the view from 20 meters high, you need to climb five flights of stairs, but it's definitely worth it. This tower stands tall over the beach and was put up in 2008. The concept was to blend a slender, spiderweb-like frame with two massive container heads. According to reviews, visiting each head offers a one-of-a-kind experience. Mod Pools specializes in crafting pools from shipping containers. While this may seem unusual, these pools have gained popularity despite their starting price of $28.5,000. These pools are made using recycled shipping containers, which doesn't deter buyers. They come in various lengths – 4, 5, 6, and 12 meters. Additionally, customers can choose from optional features like ladders and spa chairs. The default gas heating system is powerful enough to warm the water to 30 degrees Celsius, even in freezing temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. Moreover, you can customize your pool further by adding partitions to create a hot tub area. Containers played a crucial role in giving a school in the United States a major makeover. By using 32 containers, they expanded the school's floor space by 929 square meters, while adding a brand new gym. What's even better is that if the school ever wants to relocate, they can easily move these containers to a new spot. Plus, since these containers are made from recycled materials, it's a win for the environment too. This project was such a success that it earned them the prestigious Green Design Award, recognizing eco-friendly products, services, and projects chosen by a panel of experts. Back in 2017, the French city of La Havre celebrated its 500th birthday, and this artwork was a special present for the city. It's made from 6 and 12 meter containers, forming two intersecting arches. These arches reach heights of 29 and 40 meters. It makes sense they used containers, because La Havre is one of France's biggest ports. Now, here's a colorful rainbow sculpture in the Australian city of Fremantle. It was put together using nine containers and only took 12 hours to set up. This artwork didn't just make the locals happy, it also drew attention from folks all around the world who watched it being built on the internet. By the way, this rainbow project beat 27 other entries in a local competition so there's a good chance we'll see more creative art in Fremantle's future.
Now we'll take a trip to the city of Columbus, US. In one of its parking lots, you'll find the Micro Tower. The folks who made it did an impressive work. They used a 12-meter container to create a mini tower that fits right in with the tall buildings around it. Inside, the Micro Tower has spaces for workers, shops, and a spot to park bicycles. What's really cool about this little tower is its lighting and the big windows with panoramic views. They built it as part of the Bold Booths Art Project, which is all about finding new ways to use public spaces. Take a shipping container, transform it into a portable house, attach some wheels to it, and you've got Casa Box. These setups use 6-meter containers. It's a cool choice for camping and travel enthusiasts, and it's handy if you need a mobile office. Casa Box can expand by 5 meters, and its space grows to 36 square meters. Inside, the creators have included a bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, living area, plus they've furnished it and provided with appliances and stylish decor. If you want your dream Casa Box, you can use the company's online configurator to fill out a form. American designer envisions container houses this way. Interestingly, a very similar concept was developed by the Israeli studio Potash Architects, and they didn't stop at just the idea. They successfully turned it into reality. The Potash Architects house now adorns the Israeli city of Ashdod. Ashdod's port is one of Israel's top three, so the container house serves as offices and technical spaces for port services. The standout feature of the house is a container staircase set at a 30-degree angle. World Wildlife Fund experts once figured out that people produce around 53 kilograms of plastic per person each year. If we don't take action, there could be over 12 billion tons of plastic waste on our planet by 2050. Luckily, these small factories can help tackle the problem right now. They take plastic waste, shred it, and use it to make things like flower pots and traffic cans. These factories run on solar power, with a capacity of about 10 kilowatts, and any extra energy is stored in batteries. Plus, they're built on a standard 6-meter container base, making them easy to transport anywhere. What happens when you add roller shutters to a container? You can use it for just about anything. A standard 6-meter container offers enough room for a storage space or even a workshop. You have options, too. You can go for regular, fire-resistant, or soundproof shutters, depending on your needs. You can choose between electric or manual lifting mechanisms, and the roller shutters can be up to 10 meters wide, with the height limited only by the container's size. Rest assured, these shutters are built tough to withstand wind, water, and vandals. And yes, you can pick any color you like for your shutters. 